Hey guys, it's Bear now. Welcome back to Pokemon Blue. In the last part, we uh headed over to Saffron. We got we almost got our butts kicked at the um There's a teleporter up there. We almost got our butt kicked at Yeah, our butts kicked at the fighting gym. So we we're just like stuff that. Head into Silph Cove. Uh by the way, I didn't check out this door. Uh this teleporter. It actually just sends you right behind this door. You may as well do that, because this, this guy is right here. Alright, really sure. Because I know someone's going to ask me what that what that guy's all about, but... Nope. I'm not going to say. Uh, other than that, I've got a few things. Again, I, I said there's no items on the 8th floor, so... Thankfully, there's no items on the 8th floor. But, still. Anyway, we got to fight a dude. We must fight a dude! By the way, one thing you'll notice when you play like Pokemon X and stuff is that the writing is just like so nonchalant. Mope! Uh, let's see. Ah, uh, Raticate's gonna outspeed me, isn't it? Yep. And he's going to completely annihilate me if he uses Hyperfane again, so. And I want Mope to level up! I want Mope to level up. Like, seriously. You know, Ruby, Ruby's got an alright attack stat, so that's 62. And that's when I switch out. To Bubba, because I don't feel like it. Bubba! Look how much this Hyper Fang does on him, that's quite a not much, really. Phew! Now what is he gonna use? Zubat. I think I can outrun Zubat. Oh no, I can't. I can't outrun Zubat. Nah. Nah, I'm just, I'm just gonna let Bob take him. Uh, that being said, Speed V will learn uh, an electric type attack at level 31, and that's something I'm gonna want. Uh, now, by the way, Dratini evolves into Dragonair at level 30. However, Dratini will also learn an attack at level 30, and that's actually I think I think. He will learn that attack, so I only need to get to level 30, but... Oh gosh. I, I do want him to learn that attack, because it's a good attack. Zubat is dead! Yes! Golbat! Okay, heck no! Heck no, I'm not sending anything out against that thing. Oh, it's so creepy when they start sending out Golbat, seriously. Uh, by the way, there is a staircase, so you can kind of just go up and down for the most part on a lot of the floors. Uh, however, it depends on like what doors are open and shut that you'll be able to go to places. I think, um, I've got a map of this open basically. I think stuff like the, uh, uh, generally all the floors are open to you, provided you can just go up and down the staircase. Baba, no! Oh my gosh, Bubba. The worst part is that he's using Screech, so every time I attack myself, if he uses Screech, it deals way more damage. Oh, come on, that's three times in a row, Bubba. In fact, Bubba's gonna die. Bubba will die. Bubba is dead. Bubba is dead. From, like, literally the first trainer. Because freaking Golbat is cheap. Seriously, I am, I'm just so unlucky right now. And I need an electric type attack, because all I'm I'm relying on normal type attacks to defeat everything. You ever wondering why I'm not using Birda? That's just because I He's not gonna be an ending member on my team, and to be honest, he's strong enough to beat anything right now, so I may as well give the other Pokemon spotlights. Hooray, Grabo's 26. And he's still got Radata. Moopy, you've got this. You have this, Moopy. Except he can no uh, quick attack. And that's gonna get annoying. But come on, he's level 26. You're, oh, no, he's faster than you. Okay, this is not gonna be the best thing in the world. Moopy's attack continues. Yeah, I thought I wouldn't die, but at the 
same time, I'm like, I'm not gonna be able to kill him. Moopy attack continue. Okay, that's it. Uh, we'll go Speed V. Speed V's got this. Ah, Tail Whip. My weakness. Sabina quick attacks. Ah ha ha. Oh. But I know quick attack. Ha ha ha. So yeah, so literally I just got three Pokemon that aren't that useful. I mean, definitely Pinsir is useful, but uh. uh there is also a lift. And you can just go up and down the lift to any floor you want. And in fact you can skip a lot of this place, but you do need to get a card key from somewhere in the uh in the Sylphco Tower to actually do anything. So I'm gonna cut back to when I heal, because healing, I need to do a lot. And we're back in the Sylphco building, yet again. Oh my goodness. This place is absolutely terrible. You know what's the worst part? This is the wor This is the most annoying place in the game. By the way, there's a teleporter here. It actually just takes you up to this part of the 8th floor. I'm looking out on the map, I'm just like, oh yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, other than that, we... I want to go up to the third floor, uh, because this teleporter right here actually takes you inside this room. I'm sorry, I'm sorry here, place to stay. And you get TM36, which I believe is self-destruct. Interesting why she's holding on to it, but okay. There's a trainer here, so I'm like, yep, sure, fight him. Quit messing with us, said the man in the hat. I got three Pokemon again. Raticate. Ah, oh, come on. I keep sending out Moopy. Because I'm like, oh, oh, yeah, I'll just take out Raticate. But, oh my gosh, they just eradicates. I can't handle them. And the worst part is that Bubba's not going to help a lot in the gym of this fight. Not the fighting gym, but it's, there's a psychic gym right next to that. By the way, you do have to, you do have to beat Sylphco. You do have to do this entire place, because that gets Team Rocket out of everywhere. If you need training, the fighting gym is like really strong for some reason. In fact, head down to Fuchsia, there's a lot of trainers on the way there. I don't even know why I'm not even doing that. Uh, what's that? Hypno. We haven't seen Hypno. We got a lot of new Pokemon in this place. Uh, Hypno is the evolution of Drowsy, evolved at level 26. He's got a good Psychic type, uh, psychic type stat. Um, he's got a good uh, special stat. Um, Maybe better psychic types, but to be honest, Hypno is alright. Hypno use Hypno Sis Ah button. Disable. Are you going to attack me? Because if you use a psychic type attack, I'm absolutely stuffed. Nope, you're just gonna keep spamming disable, which is weird because Oh no! I need a tackle! There you go, that's confusion. That's gonna hit me hard. Actually my special stats all good. Also, that disabled loss in one turn, but the sleep loss is four. So the worst part is that if you're asleep, you can't attack when you wake up, and that's the most annoying part. Yeah, I'm just like, yeah, I can't send Moopy out. Oh, gosh, okay. Moopy, you're getting experience. Because Moopy needs to get up to level 30 in order to become quite useful. I wouldn't say a lot useful, but a bit useful. Uh, I'm going to send Bubba out again, because... This is a valid strategy, by the way, just sending out a Pokemon and then br briefly taking it back. Or briefly sending out a Pokemon and then take it back. There we go. I, I hate relying on one Pokemon, but seriously, Bubba is just holding my ground here. He is... He is doing good. He gives up! Okay, sure. Uh, I love how all the doors have to react at the very end. What should you do? Uh, you cannot sleep in the bed, dude. I think there is a place where you can heal up, up, midway through this place, but... Oh, wow! That teleporter. My goodness, that is a very useful teleporter. Uh, there's also a teleporter all the way down here. Now, I don't know what floor this takes us to, but... TM09, I will take that. I believe there's also hidden TMs somewhere in this place. Actually, 
quite quite a few of these places. I, I actually don't think there's any TMs hidden or any items hidden here, but uh, now other than that, there's also a teleporter up the top. Like, there's definitely quite a few trainers, but to be honest, the most annoying part is just trying to figure out the layout. There's not a lot of trainers. Like, for example, that floor had one trainer, so. We study Pokeball technology. Ball technology. The technology of the ball. Oh no, it's a scientist. It flew Pokemon again and a Magneton! I can't cope with this! I can't deal with that! Wrap it! Now he's faster. And I know he's gonna use Sonic Boom, because why isn't he? So yeah, the Magneton's alright, I'd say. But to be honest, there's better. There's the Sonic Boom. Sonic Boom! You gotta make that joke every time. Grab him! Oddly, Moopy is now a higher level than Magneton, but. Look how look how much damage that's dealing. None. It is dealing so little damage. I bet you we just used Sonic Boom. What were the odds? One in four, because, yeah. Granted, the strategies aren't completely random. They do have a bit of a height to, you know, go, oh yeah, use this. Wow. Wow. Moopy is stronger than you, Eevee. I'm sorry, but your physical attack stat is weak. Oh my goodness. My goodness. This is this is why some of these move sets are just terrible. I mean I mean, as soon as I get Thunderbolt, Speed Feet will completely annihilate everything. But just right now I can't do anything. Coughing Quick attack it. What's it gonna do? Smog? If it poisons me. That would, uh, I brought antidotes just in case, but. Mog, no. Yep, I knew it. I called it first time. I'm gonna keep using smog. Oh no, he's using tackle. Oh, okay. Yep, he's gonna kill me. Uh, please grab her. Uh, grab that coughing. Chuck it across the room. No, Grabber's actually not that great. In comparison, once everything has leveled up. It's probably just because coughing has a lot of um, defense. You know what's the worst part? That was two Pokemon. Now we're gonna take out a Weezing! Oh my gosh! Vice Grip it! Okay, so if Vice Grip does that much, I wanna see how much Seismic Toss is gonna do. I think it's much better. Sludge! Ah! Not the sludge! Whoa, geez, sludge. You think he would use a uh, poison type attack sooner? Well, okay, sure. Whatever! Whatever! <laughs> if it makes me win, I'm okay with it. And there's one more. Ah, oh, Magnemite! Uh, I've got this. Seismic Toss! Slam it! Oh, of course. Dude, if he knows Quick Attack, that'd just be painful. That... That just hurt on the inside. So bad. Moopy's not gonna survive it, so... See, I'm literally doing this with like four Pokemon, technically. Because ducks. I've still got ducks in there. You know, technically I can catch the next members of my team, and I really should do that. You know, I really should do that. I really should just catch the next few members of my team. Oh, well, of course, yeah. You know what? I'm gonna do that. Because we need to break up this Silco Tower with a 
bunch of things, so... Why don't we catch the other two members of my team? That'd make a lot of sense. That would actually make a lot of sense, yeah. Now, okay, so there's two things I need to do in order to get... there. Uh, so we're gonna head... east, to Lavender. I shall basically cut to when we get to Lavender, because... Seriously, we've seen this journey a couple times already. Okay, so we're back in Lavender Town. Now, I uh, put out uh, ducks and... and uh, Birdo from my party, mainly because they're not going to be the ending members of my team. The other four that are in my party are going to be final members of my team, and there are battles along the way to here. Uh, you can't actually go here immediately, you can't go here right after you beat, uh, right after you even get to Lavender Town. So, technically, you can't just head it right away. Now, my Pokemon's Ash is a sto- Oh, thank you. I really needed that. I don't know what TM that is. 39? I think it's Swift. Swift's an interesting attack. It never misses. Which is always good. It's a great- In tournaments, it's not the best thing, mainly because- uh, in tournaments, they ban the use of things like sand attack anyway. Yeah, I knew we had to fight fishermen sometime. Well, okay, so we're gonna fight fishermen. They're only level 22, actually, and I'm actually really surprised why I'm not even training on these guys. In fact, you know what? Stuff Silphco. We're actually gonna head down all the way to Fuchsia. But I'm gonna head down here mainly because we can catch the two. Po of course. Of course. Of course it knows Supersonic! Why would it not know Supersonic? Thunder Wave! Aha! Psych! Uh, I'm actually gonna head down here mainly because it will be good practice for my Pokemon, because... Wow, Movie, you missed twice. Uh, mainly because this place has a lot of, um, you know, weaker Pokemon, like level 20 something. So yeah, so... This is Route 12, you can catch quite a few Pokemon on it. Uh, cause I think there's a bit of grass down the bottom, so... Uh, that being said, you can also fish here. Uh, there's a lot of Pokemon here for fishing. We only have the old and the good rod. Do we have the good rod? I think we have the good rod. Um, we only have those two right now, but um... Just a bit further down this bridge, you can get the Super Rod, which is the best rod. Uh, just because, uh, the Super Rod is the best rod though, that doesn't mean that you should completely abandon the other two rods, because there are some Pokemon that you can only get with those rods. Uh, Poliwag. Okay, that's what a Poliwag sounds like. <sighs> Moopy, you just take forever. Seriously, this is why we only fight like five trainers in a part, in a half hour. Because I'm trying to defeat them and you're just like, nope. Nope, you gotta paralyze me. Actually, that, that's pretty good. Because Poliwag doesn't have that much defense. Like, all I need Mookie to do is evolve at level 30. That's all I need him to do. And he's got another gold team, so yay. My favorite Super Sonic King Pokemon. Why wouldn't it? Why wouldn't it do that? Why wouldn't I hit myself in confusion? Thunder- ah, uh, stuff that. Stuff that, Moopy's dead. Moopy is dead already. Almost. Not quite. Uh, we'll go Speed V. Because also, Speed V needs some moves. Particularly one. It's a flying type attack and an electric type. It used, to, it used to not be effective, but now, it, now it's all good. Um, so, keep- keep wagging your tail! Goldeen, Goldeen, you are completely useless in Brawl, and in that way, and in a friend's game, like, you're probably gonna still be useless. A lot of people are just like, why is Goldeen the one that's useless in Smash Bros? If you guys don't know, which is kinda weird, uh, there's Pokeball items in Smash Bros, and you them, you can send out, like, a variety of Pokemon, uh, one of which is Goldeen. Goldeen does absolutely nothing, it flaps around, and people are just like, why isn't that... Why isn't that magic up? You think magic up would be that? Uh, you can probably skip a lot of these. You're taunting me, item. I know you are. 
Uh, I actually believe that item is the TM for Payday. Um, I know I made the joke about overkill, so I'm not gonna do it this time. Uh, I was talking about signature moves a couple of parts ago as well. Um, in this game, for some odd reason, you can teach a lot of normal type Pokemon the move Payday. Like seriously, you can teach like Snorlax, you can teach like... Like the Fairy. Uh, in later generations, the Payday TM only worked on Meowth and Persian, so thankfully that still works. And also, Persian and uh, Meowth are the only two that can actually mine it through leveling in this game, so... I was just like, I don't even care! I don't even care, it's water type! gonna do it this way. You know, as soon, as soon as these guys level up and can hold their own ground, pretty much this entire... I can stop using Bubble for everything, because oh my goodness. Ah! Of course, he knows a flying type attack. Or he has a fish, and a fish knows how to fly. Flying fish? It's more like a goldfish, because it's golden. I'm just like, I don't even care about fighting that dude. There we go, we defeated the Fishman. That one got away, well, you kind of already caught it, so yeah. Uh, so yeah, so no grass in this kind of area, but there's a big grass later. This guy has a trainer. A swimming pool? Okay, sure. I read that wrong, I know. Yeah! He wants to fight, but he only has a gold dean. It's level 27, which is actually quite a bit. Oh, it's gone on for like 22 minutes, I'm actually, I'm actually kind of like, yeah, maybe, maybe save some time. Just send out Bubba for everything. So yeah. By the way, you can get, um, uh, Weeping Bell in this room. And you can get Weeping Bell in Gloom at the very bottom where the grass is. For a second, I was just like, wait a minute, why, why did I copy? So now he's level 28, so two levels to go. Oh my gosh. The other thing with Dratini is that he's one of the slowest levelers in the whole game. Uh, now, by the way, you don't actually have to go all the way down from Lavender this way. Because you know how we went outside of Vermillion to Route 11? And then we went through that, and then we went through a door, and I was just like, boom, Route 12, there's a sleeping Pokemon in the way. You can just head that way if you really want to. Moopy! Actually, Moopy can wrap this dude. Oh! I'm not even going to try. I am not even going to try. You can't affect me! So yeah, um, however, there are quite a few trainers, and if you want a bit of experience, then yeah, do it. Yeah, I can head up this way, because it's, it's a good place to level up. Ooh, Shelda. I absolutely love Shelda. Seriously. Shelda's, like, really good. And it's weird, it's, a, it's actually pretty underrated. A lot of people don't realize how good Shelda is. Seriously, its defense is the largest of any Pokemon in this game. I'm not sure that deploy stuff, but still, you know what I mean? It's like no one realizes how good Shelder is. I'm just like, he's one of the best water types. Uh, Goldine, my favorite. Oh my gosh. You know, I think there's one more fisherman on this route, so. Dude, if you play later games, fisherman's out of control. Seriously. I mean, I know we had the obligatory one that had only Magikarps, but... Thank you, Black and White, for ruining every single thing. About, about, like, oh gosh, yeah, there's the guy with the full mat with the six Magikarps. It's just like... Didn't even happen. Oh, he's got a horsey. Horsey! Uh, I have no clue if I've actually seen some of these Pokemon, because I've actually ridden this place down way low on my guide. On my notes. Why am I attacking? Why did I just attack? Okay, 
Okay, thank you for using smoke screen. Ah, he inverts the colors. Actually, smoke screen just lowers accuracy. It's banned in tournaments, so yeah. I think we've seen Horsey. <laughs> I am Sneezy Gonzalez. What? Just because it's smoke screen doesn't mean you have to miss. I've only seen Horsey before. I've seen Goldeen. I'm sorry, I haven't recorded in like four months. Not, not again, but like just. Alright, I think we're all good pretty much. I, I was just like, oh my gosh, did I, did I make sure I put it in the right places or. Hooray, we defeated Fisherman! Anyway, let's just keep going, because I don't feel like leveling up Moopy. And here he is! The hunk of lard himself! So yeah... Anyway... If you press A on him... No. If you go into your item... And then you go to your Pokey Flute... Snorlax wakes up, and then it attacks you! What? Anyway, this is Snorlax. Snorlax is ridiculously fat. He's level 30. And he is one of the members I'm gonna put on my team. I know, everyone who knows me is just like, Oh my gosh, you got Munchlax as your icon, of course you love Snorlax, oh my god. Oh my gosh, jeez. But legitimately, Snorlax is really good. His uh, defense is really good. He knows some great attacks. It's because he's normal type, so I guess, yeah. Uh, now, all I have to do is find out where the heck... Where the heck I put down this info before. So yeah. Uh, also, Snorlax's Snorlax's H uh, HP and attack are extremely high in this game, like ridiculously high. Uh, in fact, they're ridiculously high anyway. Seriously, a lot of people don't realize that Snorlax has really good attack. He's got good special defense in later games. That's the most annoying part about him. He knows rest, and rest means that yes, you go to sleep for specifically three turns. That was a crit, so I don't think it counts, but... Oh my gosh. Uh, rest means that you go to sleep for the next three turns, however, your health is immediately restored up to full. It also gets rid of any status condition, because you have to go to sleep. And that is just painful. Anyway, this is going to be really tough to catch. Unless the seismic cost kills him. I wouldn't be surprised, but... I, actually, I would be. Amnesia! Well, it keeps raising his special, so... I'm going to keep doing this. The worst part is that you have to uh, what was that? I have to catch it. Um, by the way, also, uh, also his speed is very low, so don't worry about not being able to run away. However, you do have to either kill it or catch it. And there you go. That's rest. Can't do it. Uh, by the way, here's a tip. Because he's using rest, uh, that means he has to go to sleep for three turns, which means... Attack him twice with, like, the strongest attack, because seriously, you're not going to kill him, and then try and go for a catch. Oh, Snappy woke up, okay, stop that. Um, because if a Pokemon is asleep, or has any status condition, it's actually easier to catch them, and he's literally putting himself to sleep for you, and sleep is one of the better conditions to catch a Pokemon. That being said, if he's on way low health, then that's okay. I right, sand attack, you gotta love it. And this is why I bought the bunch of great balls, because I seriously need all the help I can get. Oh. You know, that was a bit easier than I thought. Uh, the other problem with Snorlax, by the way, is that there's only two in the game. There is one, there's one here, 
and there's one to the west of Celadon, just on the way to the cycling route. I call him Snoozoo! 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 <laughs> okay, so anyway, so we got Snorlax. Um, so yeah, if you do fail this opportunity, as in if you kill him, I don't know if you can run away, but if you kill him, electricity is especially. Oh, sweet. I've got a grass type, so you're pretty much stuffed. Oh, dude, it's a rocker. Haven't seen one of these guys in a while. And he's got a Voltorb! And it's level 29. Wait, what? Oh, because now they expect you, that now they're like, oh wait, you could have, you have to have beaten the Celadon rocket hideout by now, so you should be pretty high level. Why did I hit fight again? I am Dumbo. So I got Moopy, Bubba, Grabber, Speepy, and Snoozoo. Snoozoo. <laughs> I got something with like the two syllables. Uh, I'll send out Grabber, because I think Grabber can take him out. Grabber can take him out. Well, that was a crit as well. That was seriously that that would have done 25 damage. And it was, oh, of course it's electrode. Of course it's an electrode. Oh gosh. Um. So yeah. So if you want to catch a Snorlax, there are limited opportunities to catch it. So you can kind of count it as a pseudo legendary in this game because. It's exclusive-ish. It's presented in the same way as, uh, as the Legendary, and especially especially in later games. So in this game, you don't actually need to catch any Legendaries, because none of them are actually given to you. Only one of them is actually available at the end of the game anyway, so... You can't lie to your screen again. Light screen, I believe, uh... Uh, lowers special attacks. Or maybe it's physical attacks. Oh, the crit always goes past it, so stuff that. Crits always ignore any kind of stat changes. Uh, so anyway, yeah. So, now that we've made it to this building, this guy inside's like, I'm the fishing guru's brother. I simply love fishing with a capital this time. Do you like to fish? Grand! I like your style. Take this and fish. And he gives us a super rod. Now, a super rod gives us two... It basically gives us uh, two, um... Two Pokemon to catch. By the way, fishing in the game, uh, yeah, fishing in this game, every single fishing spot has the exact same rates in every part of the game. So, pretty much, here, here's the fishing rates. If you use an old rod, you will always find a level 5 match card. Every single time. If you use a good rod, you will find, actually, your super rod does vary in some places. Uh, for example, I can't get what I was trying to get here. Oh, that is disappointing. However, I can get one in Route 11. There's water in Route 11, right? I don't even know. Let's head over to... yeah. We need to find water in Route 11. Oh my gosh. Um... Yeah, cut out some of that info. Ah, la 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 la... Where is... where is the water in Route 11? I know you can actually get- oh, there it is. I know you can actually get, um, some of the stuff in, uh, Vermilion City if you really want to, but... Uh, I'm gonna go Pokemon, because Moopy is clearly the best thing while it's asleep. Uh... I'm not even gonna heal, I'm just gonna use the Super Rod straight up. Alright, now you have to press the A button as soon as it comes up. Uh, by the way, I think here there's a 50% chance that it will actually work. There's a 50% chance, and you have to press the A button when an exclamation mark appears, or that appears. When you... Anyway, there's a 50% chance that you get what I'm expecting. Not a Krabby. That, that was the other 50%. That was disappointing, actually. Krabby attacked! Go, Moopy! Thankfully, they are low level, but unfortunately, they're low level. You know what that means? I, gotta, I have to literally grind this guy out. Unless it has a better place to look. I'll, I'll look it up. I looked it up. Apparently you can't get him any higher level. So apparently if you use a 
super rod. Uh, if you use a good rod, the Pokemon you will find are always level 10, and if you use a super rod, they're always level 15. And yeah, you know what that means. I have to deal with a level 15 Pokemon. That being said, here it is, Shelda. You know how I said I love Shelda? He's gonna be on my team. Problem is he's level 15. Oh my gosh. I have to deal with the level 15. This is why I was like, you know, I should probably head down to Fuchsia both ways. Uh, no, I could use Murphy or I could just use... I'm a little bit afraid to use anything right now. You know, I'm not even going to try. Oh, actually, oh, no. All he knows is withdraw, really, so I'm just going to let him up his defense. Oh, no, now he tackled. Okay. I was, tr I was trying to use uh, Thunder Wave. I think that's out of the equation now. Snoozu! Snoozu! Also, I can use rest, so pretty much, yeah. Uh, but, anyway, I'm gonna use a great ball, because I have great ball. I know he's on full health. But, it's a great... Great balls, by the way, are, seem to have the tendency to work better than ultra balls in some cases. It's hard shell repels any kind of attack. It is only vulnerable when his shell is open. And this is... Now, I was going to call Shelda obvious because its evolution is kind of suggestive in, in the way it looks. I'm actually going to call it... I'm going to call him... Clam Clam. Clam Clam. So anyway, yeah. You're looking at the... <laughs> Two of them are fainted. You are looking at the uh, final team on the final members of my team. Granted, Clam Clam and Moopy do have to evolve still, but yeah, this is what my team's gonna look like. And yeah, they all have different pictures as well. That's kind of interesting. Clam Clam. Uh, but yeah, I have to deal with the fact that Clam Clam is low leveled. Now you may be wondering, why don't you just put him in the daycare? Well, there's a problem with putting them in the daycare. And that is, you will miss out on moves if you, sp if you spend too long. And to be honest, if I just do the send out technique, I think I'll be set. I think I will be all right. Provided I can take everything out. So anyway, this part has gone on for quite a bit, but pretty much we are done for a fair bit. We I'm gonna head down to Future City both ways next part, hopefully. I don't know if I can do both ways this next part, but okay. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Doo -doo.